I am ready to cruise. I am ready to cruise. I am so excited. Wait. I'm not ready to cruise. I'm still in my carnival pajamas. Now I'm ready. I am ready to head right over there to the Carnival Radiance and hop on with the family. We are on another New Year's Eve group cruise this year. Last year we did a New Year's Eve group cruise on the Carnival Radiance and it was so much fun. That was our first year we had ever cruised on a New Year's Eve cruise. And we decided we may just make that like a yearly thing. We love it so much. So look at the beautiful ship right out there. She's just waiting for us. And we are gonna join up with, we have a small group sailing with us um, for the next four nights and we're gonna have fun with them. We're gonna celebrate New Year's Eve tomorrow night, bring in the new year. So out 2022 and in with 2023, let's head over to the ship and hop on that beautiful Carnival Radiance. quick stop here in the office we want to check out now there's a couple reasons why we like to do this when we stay at hotels one reason is we like to give them our keys back check out and get a copy of our bill to make sure that everything's right you don't want to get home especially after returning from a cruise days later and find out that there's um, a charge that shouldn't be there or something because then it's hard to kind of get it taken care of when you've waited so long another reason is it's kind of a courtesy thing when you check out early um, that way it kind of lets them know that the room's empty they can send the maid service in to get it cleaned up for the next person you know and a lot of times there's people waiting for a room that come in and want a little bit of an early check-in so the soonest people get out they can clean it up and get people in so it's kind of a, a, a twofold thing you know we do it because we like to have our make sure our bills correct and we also do it as a courtesy so keep that in mind next time you stay at a hotel make sure you go check out i'll be right back We made it to the port. One thing I really love about that Hotel Maya as well is how close it is to the port. You could literally walk if you wanted to. We didn't walk, we drove, but you could walk to the port. Uh, it's about 0 0.6.8 miles away. So it's super close. And now we're here, we parked the car and now we're gonna walk right in. Uh, I think our parking we're gonna is here. get on pretty quickly. I hope so. Because when we were at the hotel, we were on our balcony and we could hear the announcements from the cruise ship as oh, yeah, that was crazy. for people to get off the ship. And so I heard them do the final call, which was probably almost an hour ago. We heard them on the deck is going bing, bing, bing. Hello, this is Dion, your cruise director. Get off the ship, because there's people waiting to get on, and that's that us. Crazy. So here we come. Look how close the ship is to where we're parking. All right, so hey, we made it here to the port. Uh, we rounded up a guy where we can drop off our bags. And remember guys, Sharon, what's, what's something important people need to remember here Give at the port? Give them a little tip because I know the bags are gonna make it on there, but you know, you wanna just, you just feel a little bit better that you gave them a nice tip that your bags are gonna make it on. Yes. A little safer, maybe a little, um, be a little gentler with your bags. I mean, realistically, probably not, but in my head, I think that, so. Yes, so it's I'm karma, <laughs> it's all about the karma. <laughs> You're right, you're right. So uh, we, we gave the guy two of our bags, we threw him a fine dollar bill and said thank you and he appreciated that and uh, and we feel good about it. Yeah. So now we're going to get on the ship. We're right here at the port. It's super, super easy here at Long Beach. We dropped our bags right here, right behind us in this area. And we turn around and boom. Look at that. There is the big ball and there is, uh, uh, that's the port. That's it. That's yeah. where we're going. And it doesn't even seem that busy here right now. So I don't know. Fingers crossed. I'm not sure. I think it's just a little after 10. We're probably a few minutes later than we want to be, but we made it and now we're going to head in and see how long it takes to get on that ship. There is the old Queen Mary. She is, I guess it still does some tours and stuff, but no longer is at a hotel. It's kind of sad. Okay, and just in time, it's starting to sprinkle. Either we're early or this place is empty or we're really late. I don't know what's happening, but wow. it is a ghost town in here. Yeah, we might have a pretty empty ship. That might be kind of fun. Well, 
I don't know though. On New Year's Eve, you want a lot of people. You want us to be all right, so just like that, we got through security. That was a breeze. I mean, super, super, super easy. And now we're going to go ahead into this area here, and we're going to wait. We're going to see if there's a lounge in the back that we can hang out in and uh, wait till they start boarding the ship. Uh, it's not quite time. It's a little bit early. Oh, look, Santa's here, too. I didn't know we were going to have a special guest. All right, so they just made the call. It's time to go. Uh, they called the Diamond folks. And look who we got here, the Fields, right? Hey. Dana Fields, Nancy Fields. Hello, hello, hello. They're on the cruise, too, and a bunch of other friends. So we're super excited about this. We got our little uh, boarding passes in hand. And it's time to get on that Carnival Radiant. So let's go. Darren, are you ready? I'm ready. It's cruise day. How about you guys? Let's go. Mary and Jack, they're ready? Woo. Yeah. It's cruise day. Come on. All right, so here we are. We're taking the walk up the ramp. You can take an elevator if you want. So if you have trouble uh, walking or getting around, you can do that. But this ramp has always kicked our butt. By the time we get up here, we're like, uh, we're exhausted. I think the Long Beach ramp is the longest ramp we've been on. Oh, my gosh. It, it actually has been. It is. Look how long it is. It's like forever. It's kind of dark in here, but everybody stands there and they get to put their face up to the screen and it recognizes you and then you get to go. Very cool. All right, we're making it on the ship here. It is rainy, it's misty. There's, we're getting hit with rain. There's probably rain on my lens. The weather outside is frightful, but you know what? Inside is gonna be delightful because it's cruise day and we're getting on the ship. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Carnival Radiance. Boom. I'll follow you. Well, we made it on the ship and it feels good to be back on the Radiance. It's pretty empty right now, so we're gonna go dump off our luggage in our cabin. I know you're not supposed to get in there till 1.30, but we always sneak in and, and at least dump our luggage off. And if for any reason our room's already made up, then hey, we stay in there. Um, so we'll do that. Maybe we'll unpack a couple things. Maybe not. We do have to uh, go to the restaurant, talk to the maitre d' about some dining. We need to do, do the mustard drill and just a few things like that. So um, let's go do those things and then we'll get back with you in just a few minutes. Sharon, did you not even notice they still have what looks like a little bit of remnants of Christmas decorations? They do. There, they it, do. there are some balls hanging off of some uh, wreath-like material. Uh, they've got the New Year 2023 sign up there to remind us that it's a New Year's Eve cruise, guys. This it's New Year's. We're going to celebrate here on the ship with our friends. Man, we're excited about that. This is the same um, decor they had last Christmas, too, the blue theme. They had the blue tree over there. We took our picture by it last year. I like it. So, um, yeah, we can take a few. Uh, oh, my gosh, I got a great idea. How about this, guys? What? We take uh, an another new nice photo by some of the holiday decorations and then we can use it for next year's christmas card perfect idea perfect <laughs> idea cool. so we are on master station b we decided to stop off and do that first and it kind of reminds me of the good old times where we had to go outside for um mustard stations and had to wait outside for hour, like i felt like an hour you know yeah. for the thing but, oh my god but this is just a quick one we just kind of have to check in and out but it's kind of chilly out there so hopefully it's not too long all right so we're going to check in here just real quick they're going to make sure we know how to uh Oh, station B. B. Are we in the right spot? All right. Is it okay to be on the camera? You okay with it? You're cool? Okay. All right, so you get a quick lesson in how to put on your life jacket, and then boom, it's over. It's, it's much better than the old days. You know that. Hi, Charlie. Callie love. I don't know if you guys can tell, but Callie loves to be on the camera. Yeah. Ooh, she's up. So we're here. We're at our room. It is room. What number is it, Sharon? 1066. We have a spa balcony. All right. So now it's time for the unveiling. We're going to undo the keys. Here we go. The important thing is on this ship, they have the traditional, you know, you stick the card in and the door opens, not the, Ooh, nap, not the new... Not like the new, you know, tap to open the door, so. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, hold on, let's see what we got. Ooh, very nice. All right, pass the cards nice. out, Callie. There we go, we made it, we made it, we made it. Let's open this door and check it out. Here we go, here we go. All right, family, get on in there. 
All right, we are gonna get settled here. We're super excited to be in our cabin. We do have a spa balcony. This is um, room 1066 on deck 10. So let's take a look around, a really quick look around. So um, we do have our closets back here. Let's take a quick little look in the closets. Gonna back it up here a little. Just open like this. We have the life vests are actually way at the bottom here, which is um, different. A lot of ships don't have them in the rooms anymore. There's a shelf. We have our safe right here. Another little shelf up top. This is a full length closet for your hanging things. It'll hang nice long dresses for the ladies. And since it's a spa cabin, you have a couple bathrobes and slippers. So that's nice. And of course, a full length mirror. See how you look at night, you know, when you're all dressed up. And we have another kind of half closet here. You have the fridge down here. Some of the newer ships are putting the fridges in the closets now instead of out here, which is um, a little different, but hey, it works. And then we have a, sh a shorter closet here. This is great for shirts and things like that, or pants. And now over here, we have this whole desk area. I do like this on the ships that, I know this has been redone, but one thing I don't like about the new, new ships is there's a very short little counter space. And this is a little bit longer. So we have a couple, um, well, we have this drawer, we have two other drawers, and these are huge. These are nice wide drawers down here. There's three of them, lots of space. We have a couple shelves here. We have, they have a little ice bucket in here. Usually you have to ask for those, but we have one in here already. Have the phone over here. There's a 220 volt outlet. Um, your room service menu is right here. There's a couple regular electrical outlets here. And then we have a stool under here to sit on and can do your makeup right here. Oh, look at they wrote on our mirror. That's pretty cool. Welcome aboard James, Sharon, Matthew, and Callie from Dennis and John. So that must be our room stewards, I'm assuming. And uh, we have a couple uh, USB ports here. And more space. Look at this. I'm loving the space on the radius. I had forgotten how much space there was. There's a cupboard in here with two shelves and three more drawers. I wish we had this much space when we were on the Mardi Gras celebration because we could have used it. And then also on this, there is only one nightstand over here by the bed. That's okay, there's just one. Um, we have our king slash queen bed here. We have a sofa, which makes into a bed, and this is a room for four, so this will pull down later and make a fourth bed, a pull down bed. Now let's take a look at the balcony because everyone wants to see the balcony, right? And then we'll, after that, we'll head into the bathroom and show you the bathroom. Oh, and one more thing. If you're someone that likes to sleep late, I love these um, drapes they have here because it is pitch dark in here if you shut them all the way. A nice little balcony here, two chairs, and a little table, standard balcony on the ship here. And wow, look at that out there today. It is pretty foggy and um, not the best weather. If you have a cabin and maybe you wanna be next door to your friends, you can book them right next door. And if you um, look into it and find out which cabin's open, these cabins right here, the, these doors will open up and you can have a larger balcony, but they will only open up, um, most likely this cabin will open up to the cabin on this side because the, where your door is, usually it doesn't open up to the cabin next door right there. It's usually the opposite one. So a lot of times you just have to pay attention to that because they don't all open up. Like you couldn't go boom, boom, boom and open them all up usually. It's usually just one of the other sides will open up. So, and any ship's a little bit different on that too. So th just do your research and make sure if you, plan to open it up with some friends or family that you book a cabin that will do that. Aww. Look at this little guy. We already have our first towel animal. And now let's take a quick peek at the bathroom. So just your typical standard carnival balcony bathroom here. Um, you have your sink, you know, just a couple shelves on each side. But the one thing I wanna show you here is the shower. It is the same as all the balconies, but one thing in the spa um, rooms, you get Alamus um, toiletries. Uh, in this one, you have the shampoo and conditioner combo and the shower gel here. So there you go. Um, nice shower head here. 
this little clothesline, which we'll attach up here if you want to hang some wet things up there to dry. And as you can see, you know, it's tight, it's small, but hey, it's doable. You're on a cruise ship and they do have the shower curtain in here. Not the glass doors like some of the newer ships. So there you go. That was just a quick little tour of our cabin. I, I love it. I think it's a great balcony. It's probably one of the better balconies for storage that we've stayed in. All right, I got a question for everybody out there. Really quick, I just want you to let me know. Go in the comments below the video and just let us know. Do you get to your cabin, like, like do you feel the need to have everything unpacked before you're comfortable and ready to cruise? Or do you leave all your luggage, get right out on the ship as soon as you get on there and, and start to have fun and party it up and then unpack later? Are you an uh, unpack right away type of person? Like as soon as your luggage hits the, hits the room? Or do you unpack later? Let us know. Callie, Callie, what do you prefer? You like to unpack right away or later? I think what you should do is if you're hungry, you should just drop your stuff off, go get food, and then come back to your room and unpack. But what if you go get food and then you see some friends? And then they're like, hey, let's well, have a beer. Whatever. And then you have a beer. And next, next thing you know, I it's a sail away party. And then next thing you know, it's dinner. And then all of a sudden, you got to go back to your then room that's later. that's on you. And you got nothing. And that's on you. That's on you, she says. You believe that? Kids. Anyway, let us know in the comments. <laughs> what do you do? Unpack early? Unpack late? Or does it even matter? This is a treat. Here we are, right before we decided to go out for lunch. Look what arrived. Our luggage came. Sharon, are you happy about that? I am happy. But now that stresses me out because I want to just dig in and get that luggage out before all like the things get wrinkled. Uh, and now we're going to go eat. So, I don't know. We're going to have to come back after lunch and unpack really quickly. <laughs> I don't know why I stress over luggage. See, and that's why I asked that question a minute ago, right? About the luggage and what do you do with the luggage? Because uh, Sharon is dying right now to unpack this luggage and put everything away. It's eating at her. It's eating from the inside out. She can't stand knowing that the luggage is in the room and that she's not putting it away. But we have talked her into get, letting us eat first. We're starving. And then we're going to come back and address the luggage. So uh, that's that's what we do. All right, so we just came down to deck three. We're going to go in there and talk to the maitre d' and check out some stuff with regard to our table for our group and try to make some arrangements. People are still coming on the ship here. Look at all the folks here at the atrium bar. Looking to get cocktails, have drinks. They're waiting for their cabins to be ready at 1.30. I feel a little bit guilty. I mean, we already went into our cabin, dropped all our stuff, and now we're ready to party. But hey, um, that's the deal. So Sharon's gonna go in here, talk to the maitre d', and see if we can arrange our table for our big group at Anytime Dining with Macy. Wow, that was much easier than I thought. You know, making arrangements for our group on your time dining and having a specific server that we wanted, Macy. Um, I, you know, I thought that might be a little bit of a challenge for them. I walked up there and they already knew all about it and they had it all set up already. Um, so, I, so I didn't even have to like beg them <laughs> or anything. So it was awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Carnival Cruise Lines, and also a special thanks to the Maitre D' Morrow on the Carnival Radiance. That's right, Sharon is so happy because we're gonna get to have our server, our favorite all-time person ever. I'm talking ever, guys. All-time person ever on a cruise ship, Macy Mofty. Ask for her if you're on the Carnival Radiance. She is the greatest, and I mean the greatest, mm -hmm. server you're ever gonna have. We love her she to death, does. and we can't wait to see her. Yep. Let's go find her right now. Let's She's go up find on the Lido. We're gonna find her. All right, let's check out the Lido. Are you ready? Come on, let's do it. Oh my gosh, look. Hi. Oh my gosh, it is so sunny out. It's the craziest thing because it's sunny, but the sky, you can tell, is overcast and dark. It's wild. All right, over here, you got the blue iguana tequila bar. Okay, uh, that's gonna be for your cocktails. Right over here, the red frog rum bar, also for your cocktails. And then in the corner over there, you got Guy's Burger, and then the Blue Iguana. I don't know if it's a cantina or what, but that's where you're gonna get your burritos and Mexican food and stuff. So we're gonna get in there and check some stuff out. All right, so we made it here. I'm into the uh, marketplace area, right on the Lido deck. Uh, Sharon and Callie are going for um, Blue Iguana. So they're going Mexican. Matthew's going for the pizza. And I might check out the buffet. I'm not sure what I wanna do, but I'll give you guys a little look at the buffet. Let's check it out. Right, now that looks pretty good, right? We got some meat there. I don't know, that's kind of a roast beef or something. Very good looking. Very nice, we got some rolls. All right, looks like we've got some Asian noodles here, some green beans. We got some taters. We got some roasted veggies, some more veggies. Candied yams, 
Oh yeah. Over here we got some pepper steak, pork ribs, not shabby, pollo romano, pecan clustered fish. We got some mac and cheese right over here. Pardon me, partner. Oh, and then we do have some jambalaya with a little seafood, some rice and stuff. So that looks pretty good. And now you can grab your plate of your bowl and if you want a little salad, they got the salad set up right here. And then they got the panzanella, the radish, roast radish, chipotle and orange salad, coleslaw, tater salad, cheese, they got it all right there for your salad. Oh my god, and if you got a sweet tooth, they got all the pies here and cakes they're dishing out. Oh boy, look at that, unbelievable. And they got some cookies right over there. Matthew scored some pizza. Callie, you got what, some tacos? How were they, good? Yeah, good stuff, all right. Sharon's got some tacos here. She went to go get a drink. And yours truly, I got a nice salad right here, right? I'm doing the right thing. I got some fish. There's a uh, spare rib in there too, some roasted vegetables, and a nice salad with some balsamic vinegar dressing. Now we're going out here, uh, the back <coughs> exit on deck 10, because Matthew had a sighting. Matthew had a Macy sighting. So we're gonna go see if we can find him. Wish us luck. You know, one thing that we miss, and uh, this is a great reminder to everybody, is that the Pig and Anchor uh, Barbecue, what's up guys, is back here uh, on the back of Deck 10, and look at all the amazing food, the sausage, the chicken, they've got the pork butt, the smoked beef, oh my, collard greens, baked beans, they've got it all here, and these poor guys, there's, there's no one here for them, they need you to come see them. Awesome, awesome. Okay, this is it, we see Macy, we're going to go say hi. I saw her, she's over here, she's over here. She's right down there, she's right down there. Oh my gosh, here it is, here it is guys. We haven't seen her in so long. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, you're so beautiful, look at you. Oh, it's great to see you, how are you? All right, well, that was awesome. That was amazing. Sharon, how do you feel? We just saw Maisie. It's been so long since we've seen Maisie. seeing her. It was. She looks amazing. Uh, she's got her little baby boy at home, and she was just saying how she misses him so much, but yeah. she'll be back to see him soon, but she's happy to be on the ship, and it was so good to see her. Yeah, it was, and we have her for dinner every night, yes. all to ourselves. Well, maybe not all to ourselves, but you know. <laughs> We're going to command a lot of her attention. Yeah. <laughs>